thoughts on the use of thorium as a fuel in an existing can-do as compared to a light water reactor? Let me talk a little bit about thorium in a can-do. The really cool thing about a can-do, does anybody ever know what heavy water is? Normal light water has regular hydrogen that just has one proton. Uh, really geeky guys like me would call that protium. There's another isotope of hydrogen called deuterium, very rare, whereas a proton and a neutron. Protium has a fairly healthy appetite to eat another neutron and become deuterium. But deuterium's like, dude, I'm happy. Don't give me any more, I'm full. So when you build a reactor and you put in deuterium in the form of water that has instead of H2O, it has two deuteriums instead of two regular hydrogens, that water has a extremely low propensity to absorb neutrons. So the cool thing about can -dos is that you can actually fuel them on natural uranium. You don't have to enrich uranium. In the United States, we use light water reactors, we use regular water, and because we do that, and that regular water wants to eat neutrons, we have to enrich the fuel. We have to increase its fraction of uranium-235 from where it is in nature, which is less than 1%, about 0.7%. We enrich it to like 3 or 4%. So if you go and you try to use thorium in a can-do, well, right off the bat, you're not using natural uranium anymore. So you have to mix the thorium with some type of fissile material. In my mind, it kind of negates one of the basic economic advantages of the can-do, which is the ability to use natural uranium. Yeah.